If you've clicked this video, you're probably thinking, is this real? Can I really create a Loki style intro completely free, no plugins, no Adobe software? Well, the answer is yes, you can. And I've done it today. I did it in around 30 minutes or less. I created a Loki style intro using CapCut on my computer. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. And um, as always, if you're enjoying this, hit that like button um, and stay tuned for more content. So if you've watched the Loki uh, season two, you guys are gonna know that iconic intro that is once again back. Um, the intro is quite a unique, but quite a simple one as well. And uh, if you've got a computer, then you'll be able to do it. So let's get straight into the video. So first thing, um, a main point is a lot of people are using plugins and Premiere Pro Adobe software and sort of expensive um, software as well as additional sort of uh, things you can use as plugins and fonts. And really you can do that, but if you're looking to just have a video where you can plug in your own Loki intro, completely free and using free software available on Macs and Chromebooks, uh, any sort of device, then CapCut is gonna be really great for this um, sort of intro we're making. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just open up a brand new CapCut template. Now, the cool thing about the Loki intro is you can play around with the fonts quite a bit. Throughout the video, I'm just gonna be experimenting with different fonts and it's really up to you if you wanna follow how I've structured mine or you can go about it your own way. Uh, but let's begin. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sort of create a series of four stacked um, default fonts on top of each other. Now what this is gonna do is just allow us to space them out so that we can have individual customization of each letter. Um, CapCut is not as sophisticated as Premiere Pro so we're not gonna be able to get exact positioning but give it a rough estimate of where you uh, want each letter. Now obviously if you are doing a different word, it has longer letters, you'll just need to adjust the spacing. Um, so yeah, just do that how you need. And the important thing is, I noticed later on in the video that the frames actually last for about uh, 10 frames. So each time a, in a 10 frame um, section, we're gonna have the one series of words and then it'll change to a different font. So for example, in one second, you're looking um, at about, about three or four of the different fonts changing. So we're gonna start. Um, and the first one, we're just playing around with different fonts. So we've got some really popular ones that I'm trying to keep unique to this style. Etiquette is a great example. Um, here we can see Etiquette and just looking through each font, you know, going through them. And as I'm recording this, I'm just sort of going through um, the, the long list of free fonts that actually CapCut provides, which is great because it just means you can customize. Now, if we look at the Loki intro, actually watch it back, we can see that each font in terms of its position is quite different. And there's normally one letter that is unique than the, all the rest. So for example, you know that, um, that O, that has the almost old English style font with the uh, the lines going in between it. That is probably the most iconic Loki font. So looking through CapCut, I couldn't find something exact, but we are messing around to have a similar theme recurring. There is a great one um, called Party L-E-T, and it allows the zero to actually have a star inside of it. So I'd recommend looking at something like that if you wanna play around. And another great one is Pinyon script. So this one allows the O to have a curve feature, which you do actually see in the Loki intro. Now, the one that I based off the actual intro the most is going to be this last one here. Now, looking at it in its form, you can match yours to be exactly like the Loki video or just do it as you like. So what, I've, what I'm doing as I fast forward through this is pretty much just go through each font and go, yes, I like that, no, I don't. And one thing to keep in mind is when you are actually changing fonts, so after that 10 frame and it goes to a new font, you don't wanna have the same one and you wanna have the position of each letter be different. Just because once the Loki video starts playing, each letter is actually jumping around in each 
each frame and as well as changing in size um, and, uh, and of course font. So what an important thing to notice is if the L in the previous one is um, let's say an italic font, then you don't want to have another italic font for the next frame for the same L. I would recommend maybe putting a more gothic or a more sort of um, Vogue or even a New York font where you've got some sort of nice additional but structured lettering that's not italic. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. But once again, it is customizable. So you can do as you please with this video and really go about it in your own way. And that's what's so great about CapCut is you have access to a library of fonts where you can choose as much as you like and just play around with it. So after we have gone through and you've selected your fonts, we're going to just be repeating each process. Now, what I have done is actually repeated um, this six times. So, so we have the first one, second one, third, fourth, five, six, and we have just six different ones with six different fonts. Now, the great thing is because these videos um, little frames are going by so quick you can just copy and paste the six that you've made You can even do five or four. It's up to you how long you want to go I am actually just basing this completely off the Loki theme song which plays for around 20 to 22 seconds And once you get to that end font um, If you watch the Loki intro back, you'll notice that it lasts for a couple seconds so about four four seconds uh, we're gonna have the end font and that end font is sort of going to set the tone for your intro so I would recommend having that end font as something uh, quite similar to the Loki style or something that is quite different to the rest so once you are completely happy with this this video uh, go ahead and export it uh, save it to your desktop and I'm naming it just the simple Loki so that I can remember it and Once you have done that and everything's good You're gonna want to head over and create a new project now This is where the fun begins quote my Star Wars reference But this is really where you see the life of this come to life because Creating that fun is one thing, but it's the effects that add another May I mention, you do not have to do this, but during the process, I went back and realized the each individual letter has a certain glow to it. Now, CapCut is also great. It seems to be quite tailor-made to this Loki intro where you can actually add um, a glow to the lettering. But yeah, we can see this glow structure just adds something to the lettering that otherwise looks very formatted and simple. Now, going back into the project, the fun really happens here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply a couple of effects. As always, we're going to want to add a fade in and a fade out to the start and end of the video. Uh, we're going to want to apply the luminance effect on the whole video. I have used a filter strength of zero, a strength of 10 and rotate of 100. And we're gonna also, if you do watch the video back, you'll notice the end has a slight rebound to it. Uh, and CapCut has this great tool called Rebound Swing. And we can adjust it as well. So as there isn't too much of a rebound, we are gonna keep the size and speed to one and the strength to zero, uh, just to have a slight movement, which is what we're going for. Uh, next, silent is a great filter and just add something to this uh, this intro and there is no preset so you're happy just to leave it like that and the same the next one film frame uh, this probably is what creates that sort of uh, old camera style look where you've got the grain coming off each letter and it looks really nice and Noticing when you do watch the Loki intro, it actually grows and the scale increases as the video progresses. So with our video we have made, we're actually going to have a keyframe here. We're going to add toggling this little button here and putting a 50% keyframe at the start of the video and at the end here where I've made a cut. Now this cut is important because it is where the last font 
happens that signify an iconic font which is the end title which lasts for about three seconds um, you're going to want to make a cut there and at the end of that cut put it to 75% as a keyframe leaving you with that last video at 75% now if we have a look back this is what my intro is looking like you can see it really flows quite nice you've got the logo fading into the screen and the silence luminance and film frame working together um, to create that sort of old film style camera whilst you can still notice the glow on each letter which I think is really nice and captures the essence of the Loki intro. And there you go guys, a Loki style intro completely free that you can use for all of your projects. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to stay tuned for more content, uh, we've got projects happening in the back, so, and if you want to see any more style intros, you know, Marvel, Star Wars, anything, just let me know, hit the comments, and, and we'll see what we can do. Cheers guys.